Jabuchi the Tortoise, a trickster tale from the Amazon, told and illustrated by Gerald McDermott. A note from the author. Jabuchi is a central figure in the tribal lore of the Amazon rainforest. Slow and short-legged, the little tortoise is nevertheless portrayed as virtually invincible. Through his cleverness, he is able to overcome larger, often dim-witted foes. These mirthful trickster tales expose human foibles and are enjoyed throughout Brazil. The first collection of Jabuchi stories from the oral tradition of the Tupi, Guarani, and other rainforest tribes was compiled by Charles Frederick Hart and published in Rio de Janeiro in 1875 under the title Os Mitos Amazonicos da Tartaruga. Since then, the exploits of Jabuchi have been retold countless times. Scholars believe some of the Jabuchi stories, like the tales of Bear Tarapin in the southern United States, have a common origin in West Africa. Another cross-cultural link is the King of Heaven, the great god Tupin, who appears throughout the native mythology of the Americas as Thunderbird. The motif of the turtle tumbling from the sky is found in many different traditions, with examples as venerable as Aesop's The Tortoise and the Eagle and The Turtle and the Geese from the Panchantantra of ancient India. In the present story, even though Jabuchi's world is turned upside down, a universal trickster theme prevails. Creation comes from chaos. And now, here's our story. Jabuchi the tortoise played a song on his flute. His shell was smooth and shiny, and his song was sweet. His music wove through the tangled vines and floated above the treetops. All the creatures of the rainforest listened to his song. For some, Jabuchi's song was sour. Jaguar could remember when Jabuchi tricked him into chasing his own tail. Lizard could remember when Jabuchi tricked him into giving Jabuchi a ride on his back. Tapir could remember when Jabuchi tricked him into a tug of war with Whale. But the birds of the air love Jabuchi's music, and they sang when he played, all except Vulture, who could not sing at all. He was jealous of Jabuchi and waited for the day when he could eat the little tortoise. There came a time when all the birds of the air were invited to a festival in heaven. The king of heaven called them together to sing, to rejoice, and to receive his blessing. When Jabuchi saw the great gathering of the birds, he wanted to go too. I want to play my flute for the king of heaven, he said. Vulture laughed at him. I may not be able to make music like you, said Vulture, but I can spread my wings and soar all the way to heaven. Take me with you, Jabuchi pleaded. Vulture saw his chance. Climb on my back, little friend, he said. Vulture spread his dark wings and rose up in the air. Jabuchi held tight to Vulture's feathers as they flew high above the treetops. The dense forest and the great river stretched far below. They had almost reached heaven when Vulture suddenly swooped and turned upside down. Jabuchi lost hold of Vulture's feathers and slipped off his back. Jabuchi went tumbling down through the sky. The earth came rushing toward him, and he cried out, Twigs and bushes, flowers and trees, move aside, make way for me. All the plants and trees of the forest spread apart to make way for Jabuchi, but he had forgotten to call to the rock. Jabuchi came down on it with a crack, and his smooth, shiny shell broke into pieces. At that moment, the music of the festival in heaven stopped. The king of heaven looked down and saw Vulture joining the other birds. Where is Jabuchi? asked the king of heaven. Vulture shrugged. How would I know? he answered. Jabuchi wanted to play for me, and you offered to bring him here, said the king of heaven sternly. Tell me where he is. 
vulture turned away from the king of heaven and hid his head beneath his wing. The king of heaven commanded the birds to search for Jabuchi. The birds filled the skies, flying high over the treetops, swooping low through the tangled vines, looking for the little tortoise. Toucan, macaw, and hummingbird found Jabuchi. He was lying helpless in the forest. His beautiful shell was broken. The birds gathered the pieces and patched him together. When they were done, Jabuchi played a song of thanks for them. And where the birds had touched Jabuchi, they each took on a new color. Toucan got a red and yellow beak. Macaw, bright orange feathers. And Hummingbird, an emerald green belly. Vulture stayed the same dull color. He still can't sing. Jabuchi the tortoise plays on his flute. His music weaves through the tangled vines and floats above the treetops. His shell may be cracked and patched, but his song is sweet, at least to some. The end. Mm -hmm.